we introduce you the surgical technique for the intramedullar nail in Hilden. The arced intramedullary nail for humerus is particularly capable to lock the proximal area by three ways and three levels providing an excellent fixation and stability in fracture lines. It's available on great implant steel and titanium in diameters of 7 and 8 mm with lengths ranged from 180 to 280 mm with a 20 mm difference between each measure. A lateral incision of acromioclavicular joint of 2 to 3 cm length, the approach can be extended in case of obese patients. In the direction of the arm, dissecting by planes up to the tip of greater tuberosity, dissecting the rotator cuff and reaching the trochitor tip. The starting brothel will be introduced following its curvature, which will be calibrated when entering to medullar channel. Then, the 7 and 8 mm rima will be used to enlarge the channel diameter. The nail should be assembled and calibrated prior to use inside the humerus to corroborate the free passage of the screws and the exact symmetry with the instrument frame. Inserted firmly following the humeral shaft leading by the images intensifier making sure that the false via has not been performed. Observing both anteroposterior and lateral projection, you can hit with the impactor to always introduce with the flex handle guide directed toward the arm lateral side. Perform fraction reduction aided by the images intensifier and slide the nail until the proximal mark exceeds the start of the entry hole. The interlinear lead is placed to locate the distal holes. Along with the stabilizer arm, the shirt guide is placed and a mark is made with the shirt guide where the incision will be performed in which the stabilizer will be inserted. The shirt guide is inserted with the sector brodol up to reach the anterior cortical. The brodol is removed. The 4.5 mm drill bit guide is introduced. A drilling with this drill bit is made of the humerus anterior cortical. The above stabilizer is inserted holding it with the lock. Place shirts and drill bit guides in the holes where the nail distal blocking will be performed. The screw length is determined using the depth gauge. The 3.5 mm screw is inserted. The same maneuver is performed for the more proximal holes of the distal ones. The stabilizer is removed. The next step is the location and drilling of proximal holes with three different locations at three levels. The orthopedic surgeon will choose which are required if three holes and three screws can be used due to fracture characteristics without hindrance. The same steps that were performed for location, drilling and blocking used for distal holes, the proper length screws are inserted. The nail clamp is removed. The closure cap is inserted. The grease is soldered with Bicurl 2.0 and the skin with nylon 3.0, depending on the orthopedic surgeon's preferences. For more information on this and other techniques, please visit our website, arst.com.